Hi everybody. Welcome to my closet. My fibromyalgia has been crap lately. Just crap. There's no other word for it but just crap. Since, let's see, it snowed outside today. We had like an ice storm yesterday. It snowed and it's still snowing. Their school's canceled. Like three days ago, it was 65 degrees outside. And that doesn't do well for a person with fibromyalgia. If the weather would just stop and stay consistent and my body would get used to it, that would be just great. But that, that's not happening. Yesterday I got up and got dressed, dried my hair and went back to bed. Today, that might happen too. But I need to dry my hair. I'm gonna dry my hair and um, try to get ready. I have a load of laundry in. I have big front loader, the big front loader machine. And it's too much, uh, that's too much laundry for me to fold. I can't put, I can wash that much because it's a bit, you know, it holds a lot, but I can't, I have to dry it in two separate loads. I have a half a load drying right now and hopefully I'll get to do it. It's dry. I sure do like this table. I have a table in my closet that I have a mirror. I bought a mirror and I've got, I put my makeup and stuff here recently. And it's nice to be able to lean on this table. I'm not real sure about this day. This day might be a bust for me. Although it is pretty outside. It's snowing. I like to try to get dressed and do something. I might put some curls in my hair. I don't know. I feel bad every time my husband comes home from work recently. I'm either in bed looking like death or sitting on the couch saying, oh, I waited up till you got home. Now I have to go to bed. That's what's been happening lately. Well, my last three days were a wash, the complete wash. I was in bed, you know, got nothing done, and I'm gonna kinda take it easy today because, um, I don't know, it just might, it, listen, chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia just hits whenever it wants to. It has a mind of its own. There's no controlling it, none. Well, he's played in the yard and he's plowed the driveway. Well, he's over there. I don't know what he's doing. And I'm not dressed, so I'm not going out there. Hmm. Okay. Wonder how we... He must have shoveled the driveway. Because the plow is not, definitely not on that machine. Today's goal is to stay out of bed. That's only the goal for today. My husband put the snow plow on. Did you plow the driveway? No, I just use a shovel for now. It's only just half inch or so. It wasn't real bad for the four-wheeler, but when it does snow, I'm ready. Mm, I thought he, uh, I thought he shoveled. That's what I thought he did. I have a favorite thing happening here. Have you ever had hot chocolate with coffee? I have, like, hot chocolate packets. Chocolate, can't say the word. And coffee down here. I only have, like, a half a cup of coffee, so. And I stir... Listen, I can't talk today at all. Can't say stir, can't say chocolate, can't say nothing. I don't happy know. Saturday. Yeah, happy Saturday to me. All right, I stir, I'm going in circles, I need to stop that. I stir my hot chocolate and other things with a fork because it just works better. My husband put the plow on thinking when we get those four inches of snow. We've had the mildest winter yet. It's been 
Never say never. <laughs> never say never. I've seen I've seen winters like this before where nothing for nothing until February come March we had 14 inches of snow in one fall. Oh wow. Well. That would be nice. Then I add marshmallows because I can have recently since October I have lost 15 pounds. Maybe I'll make a video on that. How I lost 15 pounds, but I did it through Thanksgiving and this is this is how pathetic this world is getting. We got a bag of chips here. Look at this. Little bag of chips. Little bag. Fifteen chips, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Back to my marshmallows. Maybe I should just start buying the big bags for them. But I like to add marshmallows and watch my dog. You want to see my dog? My dog likes marshmallows too. Ooh, look at I got. You ready? Wonder if my husband can do that. Let's see. <laughs> Did you catch it? <laughs> he missed. And it's a crazy Saturday. Oh, that was another bad throw. Let me aim Brown, a little better. Oh, <laughs> let's just throw them all at him now. Uh, all right, I'm going to make a soup. I made this chicken the other night. Those noodles, they were actually good. Now they look nasty because they've sat there. So I'm not going to put those noodles in there. But I'm going to try to make some kind of soup. I don't know. I may end up having to get a bigger pan. I don't know. But as in my goal to stay out of bed, this is what I'm doing today. Let me show you a picture. I love this picture. This is me and my grandmother. My grandmother had Alzheimer's. She lived with Alzheimer's for over 10 years. But everybody says I resemble my grandmother. And I did one of those apps, the old age apps. You know, you put your picture in and it makes you old. I look just like my grandmother. I look, I look just like my grandmother. But I loved my, I love my grandma. I love my grandma. All right, I have a trick for you. If you want to get grease off the top of a pan, take a piece of bread, just lay it in there, lay it in there, and then flip it over, and voila! The bread hold gets the grease, and it's an easy thing to do. Now I'm probably going to give this to my dog. She might like it. Now I have the perfect dumpling recipe and I'll put it below. I'll write it below. One cup flour, half a teaspoon of salt, some pepper, like a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of milk, and one egg. And what you do is you mix that up really good and then you take a teaspoon and plop it in the soup when you're ready like 10 minutes before you're ready to serve it so you plop little spots all in the soup put the lid on it let it sit don't open it in about 10 minutes take the lid off and you'll have perfect dumplings every time every single time that is my grandmother's recipe on my dad's side I believe so I'll be making those later maybe if I stay out of bed, try them. Try them. I'll, I'll put it below. All right. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribe. Come back for more. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.